Welcome back everyone for a new video and this one is the Maya and Zero snipe off. Yes, it's about time this has happened. I still see people debate this. Uh, I thought this issue is kind of put to rest, but uh, maybe we can put it to rest here. Is who is the better sniper? Is it Maya or is it Zero or is it more complicated than that? I think I already know the answer, but uh, I'm going to save what I think for the end of the video. And during this video, I am going to simply take on the target dummy with four different snipers. The Liuda, the Muckamuck, uh, Citrine Muckamuck. I should actually go over parts. So the Liuda will be a Vladoff Grip, Fire, Damage Prefix. The Muckamuck has a Damage Prefix, Jacob's Grip, with a Citrine. Venture Longbow uh, with Hyperion Grip and a Jacob's Grip Barking Pimpernel. Now, when I actually do some play tests, I will use a Molly Wand Grip. Well, I thought I had a Jacob's Grip. That is a Jacob's Grip. Yes, okay, making sure I did that right. So the Jacob's Grip, because that's what I use on Maya, so it's fair in this testing, uh, Jacob's is Jacob's, but when I go and do some field testing, this will be a, probably a Molly Wong Grip for zero. Um, so I will shoot the dummy with all of these, and I'm going to register the first shot out of the barrel and the last, or out of the magazine, the last shot of the magazine. And then I will... After we've gone through and done the target dummy, in future videos I'm going to do this, and I'll do runs of certain maps. I'll do one with Maya, one with Zero, with uh, similar gun setups. You know, I'll do a Pimpernel run, a Liuda run, a Muck and Muck run. You know, if people suggest other snipers, I can maybe do those. And uh, see how they perform in that way. I will have the full loadout. So this is my Zero sniper build here going for pretty much max DPS. You can argue a few points, but uh, because I'm going to be doing Pimpernel and Luda stuff, I stay away from velocity. And bars off. So for Maya, I will show you her setup, and then I will get this started. So for the Maya one, I am showing you the same guns here. The Luda, the Muckamuck, the Longbow, and the Barking Pimpernel. Uh, both of them will have the Firebone on. For this one, I have got the Legendary Cat on, since I'm just testing kind of max damage potential here. And I altered from my regular build. Now, this won't be the build I go and use my field testing for, but I am using the Cat Com to boost, you know, Reaper. Rock won't be active during this, obviously. Uh, Mind's Eye and Accelerate. Uh... And Mike's here, so let's see what he's got before I go and uh, start the test. Because uh, whenever you find Mike, it's a cool thing. Yeah, thanks Mike, I'll pass on that. So, I am going to go start this off with zero. Okay, so, for the first shot here, I'm going to start with the Liuda. 17,923. Now I'm going to reload and do a full magazine and look at the last shot. Thirty two million five oh nine. So for Maya and the Liuda, uh, I'm not going to have to go through the full magazines with her because she does not have a difference between the first and last shot since she has no stacking skills. So let's just go here with the Liuda ten point three million. So zero wins pretty far hands down with that one. Now granted I do not have rack active so I'm just gonna try this again to make sure with the bullet split. Oh, what was that? 10 .3, 10 .3. Since the has a bullet split, I think Accelerate's actually pushing it out. But maybe not, because I'm all the way back. 
So 10.3 million there, zero wins, hands down, on the first and the last shot with the Luyuda, uh, without a question. I'm going to give it one more shot here to try to get far away from him to make sure I'm not screwing up with that split. Nope. Unless Accelerate's pushing it that far. Now, so next up is the Longbow. So let's look at these damage numbers. Now, I will occur a little bit of Rising Shot, just ADSing, or not Rising Shot, Kill Confirm, but I'm not going to go and max it out. So first shot, 33 million, 447. Got that noted down. And now let's uh, do an entire magazine. So get back to one shot, one kill. Thirty seven million nine hundred and something. You know, I'm going to try to redo that one here, since I missed a CA shot. Let's uh, go to a menu and get rid of our CA, and then start over. Uh, Dick's moving head. There will just be a couple of those. Oh, that went by too fast. So I will uh, go back and get that damage number in uh, post-editing and pop it up, but I think it was 38 million some. For the longbow versus zero, zero's first shot was 33 million, 447. 20 million, 603. So once again, zero is miles above uh, Maya with the non-action skill uh, damage test here. Next up we have the Citrine Muckamuck, which won't get anything from the bone. So 16 million, 428. Now let's go through a whole magazine and see what we can do. I'm going to do this one a little bit slower since it's got some recoil. And 16 million, oh, 35. Now, if that seems like it should be lower, it's because one shot, one kill is so goddamn good on uh, Jacob's snipers. So, that leaves the Pimpernels next. Alright, up for the Muck Amuck. Uh, zero did 16 million. On this, 8 million. Way, way behind. So, nowhere really close on that. So, next is the Pimpernel, and this is the tough one because it's going to put up so many damage numbers. Um, I'm going to have to do some editing and post. You can see my CA is going down because I was just playing with the sweet spot to try to hit him the first time, right? And I think it should be right about here. Oh, saw some of those crits. So what I'm going to do for the Pimpernel here is I'm going to go back and check the damage numbers and show you guys screenshots uh, kind of frame by frame. I'm not going to try to catch it live here because it's just too much going on so I'm gonna do one more first shot just to uh, make sure I got a good one here and that did look like I got the crits so I'll come back with those numbers later now let's go through a whole magazine let's see Yep, getting the crits. 
I'm not holding down the trigger because I don't want to lose it to that recoil. And there will be the numbers for that. So like I said, I will come back with those numbers kind of frame by frame uh, and then compare those to Maya's because that's just too hard to catch live. Too many things going on with the pimp. All right, so the replay on the zero Pimpernel shots. I went through and I looked. So we have a 41,360 up here. And then back here you see 2055. And there's another one behind this 685. And that 685 is a bit too much to be a dot. So that's a hit as well. Uh, and then you got a 3091 over here. Let's see where are some of the other numbers. The 1,429K is definitely not a dot as well. Did I already say it? Yeah, they said the two, two, 2055s. There's another 685K there. That's one of those 205s. So when I added all those numbers together, I, uh, I went over this a few times and just kept adding them up and I came up with 52,765. Now if I fast forward here over to where I'm finishing it, this one, let me just back up slightly here. So on this, back up a bit more. So the big one is 76,207. Then I've got a 9097 here. I thought I saw another 9072. Uh, 1908. Let's see if I can get this going here. I can show you guys all the numbers. There's the 1908. That's definitely not a dot. I found a 2863 in here as well, which I missed this time. But that all came out to, did I not write that down? Where is my number? 91,047,000. Uh, so pretty big numbers for zero there with the Pimpernel. So now let's go and look at Maya's. So for the Pimpernel here, like zero, I'm going to uh, look at the numbers in the post here and then come back and let you guys know what they were. That was not a good sweet spot. I thought I had it lined up just right with this accelerator. I'm not used to using 10 points in there. That was better. I'm going to take a few more just to make sure because I saw some bigger numbers before. And those should be able to cover it. So I'll come back with screenshots of that. Okay, so for Maya's Pimpernel shot, let's take a look at this. This is the best shot I can come up with. So we have a 9,234,839,000 here. I'm going to go another bit here. And then here you see a 1679 and a 2518. And there's one more number that pops off to the side. I just went too far to. Again, I went too far on a 514k there. So that added up was 14,584. Uh, nowhere near zero's Pimpernel shots. So did we learn anything from this initial test? Um, so without action skills or slag, which slag is equal to them, uh, zero does a lot more damage to a stationary target dummy. But does that mean he's a better sniper? No. Uh, what's missing from this? So with Zero's action skill, that's kind of one big shot, but he's got to wait for that shot for Deception to cool down, or er, run out. Well, Maya's action skill instantly applies Slag if you have Rune, which I do. And then her action skill also gives her access to Wreck and Chain Reaction, which are two very big DPS and damage skills. Um, Zero doesn't have access to fire rate like Maya does either, so that's another one-up for Maya as a sniper. Uh, fire rate does help a lot of snipers. But also, phase lock 
A puts one enemy still, so he's really easy to crit, but also groups up another bunch of enemies underneath it with Converge, making them a chain reaction bait for easier DPS. Uh, but also when they get pulled in, they kind of have a stun, which makes them easy sniping targets as well. So Maya's got some advantages there that you couldn't see in this test. And that's why I'm going to go do field tests with these weapons as well, so you can kind of see them in action to see how they do in comparison. Now, spoiler alert, on bosses, Zero is just way fucking better, because as CA stacks up, his damage increases it. And Maya has nothing like that, so I don't expect Maya to really do nearly as well with something like the Liuda. But Maya might win the Pimpernel battle uh, mobbing. Again, Zero's going to win on bosses, but uh, Maya's got a, sh got a good shot to keep up uh, on the rest of the game. So that'll be the interesting thing there. Um, the longbow will be interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if Zero's going to win that one. Maya's quite good with the longbow. And the muckamuck as well will be, will be pretty interesting because Wreck, although the fire rate doesn't really help it because if you try to hit that fire rate, you're just going to miss shots. But... Uh, the extra base damage on with Rack really helps that as well. So Maya's pretty uh, pretty efficient with the Muckamuck. And uh, we'll, we'll see how these tests actually go. But um, Zero definitely does more damage with snipers just off the bat. But uh, like I said, Rack would have helped out Maya. Uh, I am wearing the Legendary Cat, which increases her DPS as much as I possibly could. With 10 out of 5 Accelerate. Mind's Eye, uh, 10 out of 5 Reaper, it definitely did its all. Now, when I go to the field test, I will do my typical Siren Twisted Pimp build, because I, I've i played around with the Cat build versus that, and that build actually works better for sniping, because the speed of getting Phase Lock back, um, compared to the Cat build, helps it out, and uh, you don't lose that much damage fall off. So I will be using that because I think it's faster for uh, faster, more efficient for sniping. And uh, I'm definitely going to do a couple different maps. I'll do Washburn for sure. And maybe I'll do a Lynchwood. Maybe I'll do a Dust Tubby Run. I'm, I'm not entirely sure on all the maps that I'll hit. But if you guys have rep recommendations on maps you would like to see, let me know. And I will uh, continue the kind of snipe off here to really try to do a good, honest comparison of these two sniping. Um, and like I said, field play is very important that I'm not just doing uh, purely test dummy tests because those do not tell the full story at all. So once again, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye.